I'm here with Richard and Kim Wilson, uh, board members of the Joshua Fund. Richard, Kim, so glad you guys are here at the Epicenter Briefing in 2022. I would just love to get your thoughts. Uh, what have you loved about this weekend so far? Well, I'll, I'll start. We got to go last year and we loved the people we met. Mm -hmm. And it's always about the people. Yeah. So it happened again this time. We met a couple from Michigan where I grew up. They knew stories that I knew, which maybe aged me a bit, <laughs> but we connected and we listened to why they came for this. And it's all about the people. They've been supporting us for years. Nobody had really talked to them that much. They live up in Florida here someplace and we had a great story and they talked uh -huh. about things that really mattered to them. They were both crew members years and years ago. So ministry is oh, wow. a big deal. Yeah. So we got to talk about that. And so we get to connect with people and that's always what it's about. And that's what this whole thing started with. So that continues. We get to talk with people and the people that for years have supported us and all of a sudden showed up and got to be connected to. So yeah. that's been wonderful. That's that's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Really Kim, how about you? What What's really spoken you to your know, heart this I weekend? I think it's just absolutely amazing that we can collect as a group not only the board members, but staff members. It's so good to see them because we never see them. Yes. So it's kind of good to connect with them and see how their families are doing. But the other thing, it's like Richard said, it's meeting people that either know a lot about the Joshua Fund or are really interested in the Joshua Fund. Yeah. And so it just gives us a, just an opportunity to share in a very unique and special way about yeah what the Joshua Fund is doing. Yeah, and, and how about the worship experience? Hasn't that been <laughs> phenomenal? That's great. I mean, it's really <laughs> phenomenal. I, I was in the elevator with, with one. I didn't know who it was, and we started yapping, and you know, we're talking about families, we're talking about anything, and then he brings us to the feet of Jesus. Oh. So it was great. Yeah. We've, it's been a wonderful experience. Yeah. It's been a great week. So as, as board members, I just want to step back for just a little bit and, and talk about the, the things that uh, brought you to the board, things that have ministered to you that the Joshua Fund has been involved in, and maybe maybe some of the really special things that have stood out during your time on the board. Well, I we came to the Joshua Fund kind of a different way than a lot of board members. I was involved with supporting the Joshua Fund at an accounting payroll type right. organization. We They were a client, uh -huh. and that's how I got to know them. I got to know some of our the guys that work in the organization. Ultimately, I finished there and was asked to come on the board. So I kind of came in knowing the Joshua Fund a little bit differently. Mm. Um, and back to the people, Rich Chafin, one of our board members, said to us when we were going to Israel for the first time, he said, you'll love being there, but it's all about the people. You will not forget the people that you met. So mm. for us, it's been connecting that. And as we pray daily, and we do for the Joshua Fund, people like, you know, we saw the guys um, that are distributing the food on today, and we watched them. Uh, my ear and you see those and you connect and we pray for them by by name and yeah. so it, it, that's what it's been about and we get to see that and as I work with the numbers and we work together we see those things but it is the connection to what we do in ministry so for us it's been all about the people again yeah. not only in the land but also the board members that we serve yeah. with and the stories we read about how God's changing lives so. amen it's yeah. the stories right yeah it, it is the people and yeah. and I have had such wonderful experiences with with women there yeah and they're just like us yeah they love their children they're concerned about their children they want to brag about their children and what they've what they're doing and how they can move forward yeah. mm. the importance of trust and what they were doing with vbs yeah. in their small community mm -hmm. and so it, it, it's just amazing because you forget that they're just like you yeah mm. they may great. have a different name or or live somewhere else but they're just like us, and just they love like the us. Lord just like we do. So. That's beautiful. Yeah. Richard, Kim, thank you guys so much for serving and for being here and just for uh, giving us uh, such an encouraging comment about what, what God's doing through the Joshua Fund. Yeah. Thank you guys very much. You're it's welcome. our pleasure. Thank it's you. our blessing. It's a blessing for us. Hey, I'm Joel Rosenberg. On your left, you'll find some videos we've chosen specifically for you. We look forward to partnering with you to bless Israel and her neighbors in the name of Jesus.